When rainwater falls on roads, sidewalks, and roofs, it picks up sediment, debris, metal fragments, oil drops, and more. Runoff from storms rushes across the pavement into storm drains, which dump the polluted water directly into the Rouge River and nearby lakes. Now, homeowners are joining a nationwide push for clean water by capturing rainwater and recycling it into their own landscapes. Rain barrels capture water for future use. In contrast, rain gardens trap the water and recycle it immediately into the soil system. Gardeners in southeast Oakland County are proud of their homes and communities, and some have initiated a movement for small front yard rain gardens, a beautiful solution to pollution. A rain garden is a depression in the landscape designed and planted to trap, absorb, and filter stormwater runoff. Homeowners like rain gardens because they bring butterflies and native plants to the home setting while recycling water on site. Government agencies like rain gardens because they help keep runoff out of the storm drains. Rain gardens are designed to absorb any excess standing water within 48 hours. The optimal location for your rain garden depends on the origin of the runoff. You can trap water from your roof by placing a rain garden near a downspout. Remember, however, to place the garden at least 10 feet from the foundation of the house. Another source of runoff is the street and other paved surfaces, such as sidewalks and driveways. Rain gardens can be placed in the easement between the street and the sidewalk, providing an attractive neighborhood garden. However, the easement location is typically owned by municipalities, so city engineering staff should be contacted early in the planning phase of your project. Gardens are typically 10 feet by 20 feet. This size rain garden is manageable for the average homeowner and yet large enough to effectively filter rainwater for recycling. The depth of excavation for a rain garden depends on several factors, including the amount of water to be received, texture of the soil in and around the rain garden, and the availability of an overflow location during major rainstorms. In southeast Oakland County, removal of clay soil at rain garden sites has often become necessary. Two or more feet of soil is typically removed with a front end loader and disposed of off-site. After the clay soil has been removed, a rain garden soil mix needs to be brought on site. The soil mix typically used in southeast Oakland County, Michigan includes yard waste compost mixed with sharp sand. Research conducted by Lawrence Technological University supports the effectiveness of this mixture. It should be noted that the use of topsoil in the rain garden should always be avoided because it may impede the absorption capacity of the soil mix. Following the installation of the rain garden soil, some settling may occur. This may be as much as three to four inches in small rain gardens. The use of natural organic mulches as top dressing on the rain garden helps to stabilize the soil, reduce weeds, hold moisture, and most importantly, adds to the organic matter in the rain garden as the mulch decomposes. Native plants are plants that would have been found in our communities in the 1700s, before Europeans settled the land. Many native plants are hardy and well-suited to rain gardens. Native prairie wildflowers, for example, have deep roots that help soak up rainwater and keep soil healthy. Moreover, the native wildflowers support butterflies and beneficial insects and help restore local ecological character. Biodiversity, simply stated, is the amazing variety of life on Earth. In the long run, the only way to really restore our urban rivers to a healthy condition is to reestablish the food webs among diverse plants, animals, and soils. An easy way to find native plants is to contact one of the native plant nurseries that are certified through the Michigan Native Plant Producers Association. For a list of nurseries and a listing of their plants, go to www.mnppa.org. Some areas of your rain garden may be wetter or drier than others. Place your plants accordingly. Most importantly, learn about the plants before you purchase them. Visit rain gardens, take classes, or check sources to better understand the native growing conditions of your plants. When planting, loosen the roots of the plant, place it in the soil, firm up the soil around the plant, and water well. Place mulch around the base of the plants in a one to two inch layer to help conserve water and reduce weeds. Be sure to place ID tags at the base of the plant so you can remember the species that you planted. Rain garden maintenance is ongoing for the first year and beyond. 
During the first year, attention should be given to weeding and edging. For tall prairie wildflowers, cutting the stems in half in late June is a useful step to help control plant height. After two or three years, native plants often grow tall and may mix together in the garden bed. In order to maintain a neat look for their rain garden, many gardeners at this point choose to dig out one third or more of their plants. The removed plants can then be recycled to other gardens. For additional information on rain garden designs and publications, go to the following website address.